Hey folks, this is Brent Easton with Easton Farms. I'd like to welcome everybody back to the channel. I just wanted to post a quick update on the sheep and the dogs and give everybody a little surprise here. Surprise, we've got two puppies. <laughs> I added two guard dog puppies to our little family here uh, just yesterday. Went and picked them up. They're, they're Kangles, they're both males and they're just a little over eight weeks old. Um, last year when I had to separate the rams from the ewes, I separated the two dogs that I've got and ran one with each group, one with the rams and one with the ewes. And it's the general consensus that the dogs and everybody are better off running in pairs. So uh, I didn't, I wanted to avoid that again this year. We're right up against lambing season now, so um, I'll separate the rams from the ewes again in July, like I did last year. And hopefully I do a little bit better job of it this year, <laughs> since the, the old ram got back in with the ewes once last year, but we'll move them off the farm this year. But anyway, that's the point of adding the two dogs, and everybody will get to watch those grow along with me here in the coming days and weeks and years. So that should be fun to watch. We're prepping for uh, probably, hopefully, the last winter storm of the year. Super late, even though we're in spring. But we're supposed to get an Arctic blast and my forecast on my phone is saying one to two inches of snow possible. So hopefully that doesn't happen but it won't stick around long it's supposed to get back up in the 50s and 60s the next couple of days afterwards so we should be okay i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the puppies they've got their own dog houses there they're good houses and they're full of blankets and everything so i don't know if i'm going to leave them here or take them home i don't really have anything practical to do with them at home so i'm not sure I'm, I don't, if it's going to snow very hard I, and stick, I don't think it's a good idea to leave them over here. I did put them in their own separate pen there. I mean, it's inside the sheep paddock, but I didn't want to let the old dogs run in there with them, so I thought it was a good idea to go through an introduction phase with them in their own pen. But, I let the old dogs in with them shortly there yesterday and everybody acted okay, but I don't trust my old dogs that, that far with something new and that tiny and I mean they're good with lambs, but new dogs, I just felt like this was a better way to go about it. So. Anyway, it's so windy here, I'm in the ranger cab, so I apologize if the audio is funky. <laughs> but other, than the, other than that update for the puppies and stuff, um, sheep are all doing really good. Our forage is doing really well, and the dogs are doing good. So. That's about all I've got to update on. Man, there's a turkey goblin just right over the hill here. That time of year, I saw a monster the other day. I bet that thing weighed over 30 pounds. <laughs> just waddled when he ran. Couldn't hardly run and he never did fly. I suppose it's too much trouble for him. But anyway, hope everybody has a good turkey season at turkey hunts. <laughs> Our numbers, I think, here are down a little bit. But we've had such heavy rainfall the last few years during um, nesting season that it's been kind of hard on them. I just realized that little you there is the, uh, her mother is the one that I call Waddles because she has two Waddles on her throat and I just realized that that little you lamb of hers has Waddles on her throat. Oh that's pretty cool. See them? <laughs> that's awesome. They're the only ones in there that's got those. 
when I first got the sheep, I inquired about that in a few groups on Facebook and around on the internet. And apparently that's just a recessive gene, a throwback to, uh, to some of the foundation stock for the St. Croix sheep. It's just a, an old trait that's in the bloodlines that pops up every now and again. But it must be an indicator. Well, it must not, it's not necessarily must be, but she is one of the hardiest ewes in the flock. So I'm thinking it may be an indicator of some of the really good traits from them. But <laughs> if her daughter's half as good as she is, she's going to be good. <laughs> There's that turkey again. So anyway, there's an update. And just got 16 new red pole heifers today. They're kind of upset and excited from the long haul cross country from Tennessee to Kansas. So I got to get back over there and check on them and see how everything's doing over there. So anyway, I'm going to bid everybody a good evening and Hope everybody's doing well. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.